Good morning, this is Anka Metcalf with TradeOutloud.com. Welcome to the pre-market game plan for today, Monday, June 25th. It is 7.46 a.m. Eastern Time. So let's get started with the Yemeni Dow Industrial Average. That is down 170 points on the day, 0.70%. Uh, just uh, as uh, we have forecasted in last night's uh, late video, on the market outlook uh, we broke below the 440 level and continue lower thus creating a new low at 24378 landing into a linear area of resistance at the 24390 zone area that we have been talking uh, um, in the prior video uh, this is a very um, I would say sustainable support level. However, if breached, we may have price continuation lower back into the 24,350 and back into the 24,300. Keep in mind that we still have support at these levels, so the trajectory to lower price targets is not going to be as fluent uh, as uh, we may expect within this area. From the hourly chart, we can see that we did have the biggest move that happened at 8 o'clock. Then we have consolidated very shallow pullback that sent the price lower, uh, creating this low right here into the 380 zone. Uh, game plan for today, if the price is going to trade above and only if it will trade above 24, 465 to 470, then and only then we may see a correction for a possible long and this is for day trading so i'm highlighting these are um a day trading ideas um this move can potentially run in back into the 24 500 so this is going to be the trajectory look for reversals based on the five minute chart and the stops only based on a five minute chart uh, lower time frames are going to be extremely fleecy uh, from what I see here happening. So zoom out to larger time frames, a 5 minute, 10 minute or a 15 minute if you're using it for more confirmation. But longs only over uh, 24, 4, uh, 65 to 470. As long as we remain bearish within this zone, further trajectories to the downside uh, may be possible look for a correction shallow correction into the 460s if the price is going to be rejected at this price level look for a reversal back down into the 400 and potentially a continuation lower like i've mentioned before into the 24 400 uh 440 and this is going to be the immediate target area uh uh, followed by a potential continuation back into the 24300. Let's take a look at the Imini uh, S&P 500 futures. Pretty much same price action. The daily chart um, completed the bear sandwich, and uh, we have landed again into a prior area of support. We have not tapped onto the low from 619. However, we're still looking weak into that area. Keep in mind that this right here is a sustainable area of support like I've mentioned in last night's video. 2740 is a really hefty linear, resist, linear support level that is deriving from this prior resistance high thus forming this minor support level. Also, if this level will be breached, the 24, the 2740 zone, so 40 is going to be a really high impact zone. So if 40 is going to break, we may see a continuation and acceleration lower all the way to 27, uh, 2725 and even into the 2720. So these are the next immediate targets for the mini SMP. We will be looking and I will be looking at this cluster as being uh, definitive into the immediate price action. You could see that the reaction is obviously higher right now, and I will only be bullish if the price manages to trade over 27, 2750. Over 2750, further continuation higher uh, into uh, the 2753, 2755, and back into 
uh, the breakdown area into the 2760. Uh, we do have, and what I notice here on the chart is that we do have a descending pattern. So we do have the high, we do have the lower, uh, lower highs that have been formed, and we also have the lower lows. However, we're tapping into a double support level here, and uh, we, depending on the pullback, whether shallow or steep, uh, on a shallow pullback, we can, uh, on a shallow pullback, and if the price is gonna get rejected once again from the 2750, this is gonna be short time again, going back down to the 2740, 2735, 2725, and 2720. These are the immediate targets. Let's take a look at NASDAQ. Imini NASDAQ from the daily chart right here, you could see that last night it was holding on to the 200 SMA. Uh, this is also a minor support level. If this area is going to be uh, breached and we saw that it was slightly breached we may see further price acceleration lower into the 7120 zone uh, let's go to the hourly chart for immediate price action in fact the tech the uh, tech uh, the, the tech index uh, and the Nasdaq 100 uh, is literally violating the first area of support here at the 7157 and it is the only index, as you can see, uh, compared to uh, the Imini Dow and Imini S&P 500, that is not having this reversal reaction at this point. Now, we have triggered an hourly reversal into the uh, into the 71 uh, 7165. Depending on how price action will react at this zone, whether shallow or steep retracement uh, we will have a better edge in the newer trading session because if this reversal is going to come back into the 7180 zone but keep in mind this is a larger zone 7180 to 7200 7200 may be the selling pressure area that may reverse the price and may push the price back lower into the 7180 into the 7150 and even into the lower targets. They're still up uh, there. And at this point, at the uh, 7150 zone, we may have price velocity that may take the price lower into the 7100 and into the 78, uh, 7080. Uh, however, look for, so it is not ready yet. No setup as of yet in terms of a reversal right at this point. So. Be very careful within this zone. So keep it in mind, it has already triggered the 65. If it's reaching into the 80 area, not being capable of heading higher, or even if it's heading into the 90s, close to the 7200, this is the area of that reversal. Uh, last but not least, one of the last indices is RTY, and this is the Russell. And I'm gonna put the daily chart right here. Uh, I already set an alert from last night at the 1675 level because that will be a daily, uh, uh, I'm sorry, a weekly reversal. Once that weekly reversal triggers, you will see more price velocity. They may take the price back lower at least into the 1650. And uh, in fact, one of the first target is going to be 1675. Uh, I'm sorry, 1675, the trigger, and the last target is going, no, the first target is going to be into the 1660, and the next target into the 1650, okay? So let's move to the hourly chart. You can see that we have a strong cluster of support right here. We have not yet tapped into this area, so I am going to reserve uh, RTY for last because it is definitely one of the strongest index and uh as as you know if it should reverse this is going to go to the bull list all right so all the rest of the indices nasdaq being one of the uh, weakest today percentage wise as well is down 64.0.89 percent on the day so percentage wise it is it is weak chart wise it is weak and it may have that velocity to continue uh faster lower uh, don't forget that uh, this week uh, actually marks the last trading week of this quarter. 
Uh, we may see a sell into Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and perhaps Wednesday, towards the end of the day Wednesday, we may see a turnaround into Thursday and Friday, perhaps some bottom picking in uh, particularly uh, in some tech stocks. Uh, and that is going to be part of window dressing effect. So uh, the selling that is happening now should have been uh, and w was expected throughout last week. However, it is coming and it's accelerating more uh, a little bit into this week. But on a price reversal, we could actually tap into RTY towards the end of the week, perhaps 28, 29th. Remember, Friday is going to be the last trading day of this month and of this quarter. We're going to begin a new quarter on uh, next Monday. All right, so I'm going to reserve Russell for last. If it breaks over 16.85, it may have room to continue higher into the 16.90. 1690 between 1690 and 1692 is a strong area of resistance if price is going to get rejected at this zone we may see a continuation back lower and this is going to be uh this is going to be the second lower high within this pattern uh, and that will project the price lower back into the already tested lows from the overnight into the 1682 and back into the 75 and keep an eye on the 1675 because if we base bearishly at this point into the 1685 a break below 1680 this is going to be a five point run here may project the price lower into the 75 and is 75 triggers wow that's the avalanche that is going to take the price way lower into the target zones that i've mentioned 1660 and back into the 16 uh, 1650 zone all right, two more commodities for today, and we're gonna go look at uh, at oil. Or, I'm sorry, at gold. Let's start with gold first. Uh, gold uh, bottoming out last Thursday uh, created a shelf of support at 12 uh, 1268. The overnight price action actually did a breakout over 1273. Not really tapping into the 1275 zone. Still bearish. Still looking very bearish. You could see how the 1275 minor resistance level acted as a rejection for price sending the price lower back into the 1265 it reversed sending the price higher retest the high back lower and we're still trading within the zone between 65 and 75 so this is a 10 point range as of right now obviously if the range is going to break 75 it may shoot the price higher perhaps into the 78 uh, if the price is going to break below these lows right here into the 65, uh, it'll probably land back into the 1262. I'm going to leave gold alone. I don't see any day trading or swing trading pattern, at least as of yet. All right, so let's move on to the last commodity for the trading day today. And this is oil, which uh, stabilized support at 68 uh 68 and change actually 68 13 for support uh we're seeing the cluster uh forming right into the 69 it's the uh, uh and actually oil is trading exactly like um i have uh, uh forecasted in last night's video a break over 69 can shoot the price higher uh the next target areas are going to be 69 44 70 dollars 70 dollars and 50 cents 71 dollars and 88 and it, uh, it does have a continuation higher into the 70, 71, 79, 72, 80, and it has a tradable void all the way to $75. So it, it does have a lot of room for a continuation higher. So it may have that velocity uh, uh, for for price to be pulled into these zones so uh keep in mind this is a pretty wide range right here you're looking for a break over 69 ideally for a day trade if you didn't capitalize on the trade idea that i mentioned last night ideally you have to wait for a break over 69 pull back and then uh get in on the first reversal thanks so much this is the pre-market game plan for today june uh, 25th uh, we're ready to start the Power Income Day Trading Futures class in Boca Raton, Florida. Very excited. I'm really pumped for that. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning for a new pre-market game plan. Thanks and have a wonderful day and uh, stay safe in the market. Have a great trading week.